A forest garden is a designed ecosystem that benefits both humankind and the natural world. Composed of several layers or stories of trees, shrubs and perennial and annual plants, forest gardens embody the strength of biodiversity. Plowing the soil and weeding the ground requires vast amounts of energy in the form of oil, and such sources of energy are finite. Looking towards the natural world, forest gardens break the monotony of monoculture. Mimicking woodlands, these dynamic, self-fertilizing and self-watering ecosystems display nature's vitality. As a design system, they require little cultivation, yet bear plenty of fruit. And they are also places of great beauty. The draw of the canopy and the woodland is deeply rooted in the souls of us all. Working with nature to grow edible crops, forest gardening is a living example of an agriculture that doesn't compromise our soils or our biodiversity. Living with the land, forest gardens play a vital role in novel and sustainable sources of food and livelihoods. So I'm Martin Crawford and we're sitting here in my forest garden in, in Dartington, which is 20 years old. The sort of people that come around here, I take, you know, I take a lot of groups around here through, through the year uh, and they, the cross section of people that come here is complete. Convinced permaculturists uh, are, are on one hand, right across to you know, very conservative traditional gardeners perhaps on, on the other. Most people uh, are struck by how beautiful it is. The traditional gardeners are struck by how untidy it looks. That, that's very interesting because uh, forest gardens can look untidy, but then um, tidiness always costs you energy. Uh, forest gardening is um, a way of using land to grow crops, mostly edible crops, but often other things as well, like medicinal plants or, or plants for fibre use and so on. Trying to use a vertical space more productively and creatively, so often using trees of different sizes and underplanted with shrubs and so on. So it's a much more three-dimensional system of growing than, than most types of agriculture. Uh, decomposing fungi attack wood, usually dead wood, and decompose it down into wood chip. And that's what started happening at the end here. It's starting, this, this, this is just starting to fall to bits. One of the things about a forest garden is, uh, although it can vary obviously between different people's gardens, is that it, they tend to have a very naturalistic feel to them, almost a semi-wild feel to them, although they're not, you know, they're, 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 they're cultivated gardens. But um, the sort of kind of light touch that they need to keep them functioning gives them this semi-wild feel. So it does help people. I'm sure it does help people, you know, reconnect with nature and, and, and all that stuff. And they're just, they're just beautiful places to be in. The resurgence in forest garden kind of started in Britain and in North America, uh, really starting with Robert Hart, uh, um, uh, you know, 30, 40 years ago when he started experimenting up in, up in Shropshire. Uh, and he was one of the inspirations that, that got me into this area to start with. A, a forest garden, certainly in, in a temperate climate like this, um, uh, it tends to have a much more open structure than, than a forest garden might do in the tropics. And that's all down to the power of the sun and what plants need. We don't have as much sun here uh, or as much sun energy here as, as, as further south. So we have to be very careful about tree spacing, make sure trees get enough light to be able to ripen crops and so on. So tree spacing is very, very important. And, and it has, a forest garden here has a, a, a slightly more open feel to it. It's not, it doesn't feel like a forest. Um, it's sometimes likened to a young woodland, but even that is not quite right because there are the occasional big trees, if you've got space, uh, amongst uh, fruit trees and other things as well. So it has a ton of, kind of unique structure. When you come to design a forest garden, you'll find out you do need to take a, 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 a kind of systems view, an overall view of, of how it all functions. Uh, to get to get the best you know design, so you have to think about how plants interact. You have to think about um, uh, you know how much sun they need, so you put more shade lovers you know beneath other, other uh, taller plants. The complexity of the system demands s somewhat more of you than designing you know a simple little annual vegetable garden, uh, but it 's not beyond it 's not beyond anybody to do that.